Uh, I'd like to start this morning by letting the American people know that the United States Capitol uh, is open uh, to visitors. We'd love to have the American people come and visit uh, their capital. You know, even though our budget's been cut like everyone else's, uh, thanks to proper planning, uh, we're able to avoid uh, furloughs amongst the capital workers and tours are going to remain uh, available for all Americans. I mean, it's disappointing uh, that the Obama administration didn't follow our lead and find savings in other parts of their budget. I think it's uh, silly that they have insisted on locking down the White House, uh, which uh, the American people actually own. You know, we went through months of campaign-style events all over the country. And uh, <laughs> I did have a conversation with the president about last Friday. Uh, and it was really kind of interesting that uh, this week uh, we've gone 180. Now he's going to, after being in office now over four years, he's actually going to sit down and talk to members. I think it's a sign, a hopeful sign. Uh, and uh, I'm hopeful that something will come out of it. But if the president continues to insist on tax hikes, I don't think we're going to get very far. If the president doesn't believe that we have a spending problem, I don't know if we're going to get too very far. But I'm optimistic.